Hi everyone, my name is Oksana and I am a teacher in Lacey Bird Academy and the creative florist in Lacey Bird. And today I will tell you what the spiral technique is and why it is so necessary in floristic. There are two main assembly techniques, parallel and spiral. Most bouquets are assembled by using the spiral technique and it doesn't matter what the shape they are, they are all made by using the spiral technique. And the spiral technique helps uh, to make the lush and volume bouquet with less material. And now I will show you how to make the spiral by using the branches. First of all, I take the straightest one and then I begin putting the branches one to another until the spiral appears in my hand. And I put in an angle 45 degrees and add another branches and step by step. You can roll your spiral and uh, add some branches in another place of our spiral. You see, I use only two fingers. Another fingers is relaxing. The spiral technique can be clockwise or counterclockwise. It depends on which hand you hold the bouquet or it depends on your convenience. For example, I'm right-handed, so that's why, for me, more comfortable to keep the spiral in left hand and add stem by the right hand. Left-handed people do the opposite. You need to choose the more comfortable direction for you and uh, put the stems clockwise or counterclockwise, but only in one direction, without crossing the stems. So, I can put the blue stem in a counterclockwise because it will be crossing stems. The place where the flowers are connected should be round, otherwise the bouquet will not be perfect. At the assembly point, they are parallel to each other and very dense. And below the hand, they are already moving apart. And then it becomes uncomfortable for you to keep the spiral here. You can move it like this and keep on doing to put the next stems. Continue to work, open the fingers, add stems and fix them, so this is not to destroy your spiral. And now I add some painted stems, blue one in the front. and red one in the back. As you see, the blue painted stems, which I put in the front, 
have one direction from the right to the left, but the red stems have another direction from the left to the right. And it's very important. So my bouquet is ready and now I need to fix it with a tape. I use this one, cut about one meter. So I fix the tail of the tape with my left hand and after that I use the right hand and fixed tightly. And after that I fix tightly my spiral. Then I put it on a table for more comfortable. I cut the extra tape and after that I need to do this one. I do like this one. So as you can see the spiral technique allows the bouquet to become the more voluminous. And now I will try to do the spiral technique with the greenery the pistache. So, first of all, you need to choose the straightest stem. Okay. Let's take this one. And after that, you need to add the stems at an angle, 45 degrees. And now you add stem step by step to make the spiral in one direction. It may be clockwise or counterclockwise as you're comfortable. So the spiral is ready. Now I need to fix the bouquet with the tape. I do it tightly. Cut extra. So let's see. So I keep the point of spiral below. That's why my bouquet became more voluminous. It's very important to know that you have to delete the extra greenery from the stems and from the point of spiral. Uh, because the extra greenery is polluted the water and uh, the bouquet can leave less than it could be. So I hope my class was useful for you. I wish you good luck. See you on the next classes. Bye bye.